I'm going to speak very briefly. Our mayor is here. But I, I was just reflecting on history where it was a man in 1771 by the name of Crispus Attucks that died, the first person that died for democracy on these shores. And they called it the Boston Tea Party. Do anybody know anything about that? Yeah, all right. But the whole issue that that was at hand at that time was taxation all right. without representation. All right. All right. And here we are in 2011, right. and we're fighting the same fight. Yes, we are. Now, I just want to say one thing about legislation. Want somebody to say legislation. legislation? In the word legislation is the word legs. That's right. And legs uphold the body. And when the legs get weak or when the legs are broken, then the body collapses. But you are the body. Good legislators uphold society. They uphold cities, they uphold states, they uphold countries. But when you get bad, corrupt, puppet politicians in office, then that's like having broken legs and the society collapse because of democracy that upholds it. I, I didn't, you know, I know you probably didn't come to hear that. But I wish somebody was listening. So we need good legislation. And public act number four is like a termite to democracy. Because it's eating away at the core democratic values that make this nation and this state great. So I'm going to leave you with a story. Franklin Delano Roosevelt entertained Asa Philip Randolph. Right. who was a giant for workers' rights. And he was explaining to him the great abuses that was taking place. And FDI said, Philip, I agree with everything that you have said. But go out and make me do it. But the underlying is when you're dealing with power and you're dealing with politicians, you can't just ask them to do it. That's right. That's right. You have to mobilize, organize, and come together and make them do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for coming today and let's make them do what's right. <laughs>